Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Daymare 1994 Sandcastle. And it's been a couple of days, I had a little con I had to go to, and you know, kind of got held behind there a little bit, couldn't play. I'm a little rusty, but let's keep on moving here. I also changed the audio a little bit, let me know if it's better, or worse. I can't go any further until I realign the platform. If you don't, if you don't notice any problems, you know, whatever, it's not a big deal. Okay. Do we gotta get all the way on the other side and move that one or move these up? I gotta move this giant explosive missile. I'm guessing. The elevator is already here. Let me make sure I get the flashlight going. Perfect. Nothing works in this shithole. I hope there's another control panel upstairs. I'll have to reach it. Yeah, we gotta go on the, uh... We gotta follow the little green and white and red wires. Have a good old time. Also notice if you hit the pause menu, you get to see the collectibles. So, we're gonna try to find that one. Problem is these rollers are actually moving, so they're making noise and they're they're getting in the way just a little bit. Feels like I'm on the set of one of those crappy Area 51 movies. Is US progress building those weird looking planes? I think these are stealth bombers, I believe that's what their names were given. They're they're hard to find on radar. That's kind of like their big thing. Radars have a problem seeing them. So that's why the U.S., you know, has them. They're expensive, though. It's actually a little quiet, a little too quiet out here if you do. If I do say so myself, I think something terrible. I see that and I see all that blood. Hmm. Something terrible might happen. All right, well, we definitely got to go in there, but we got to go checking around here. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know there were stairs. Well, actually, that's probably the way we need to go. This is a weird, this is a cool looking machine. It's like a battery pack or something. All right, let's check out this bloody room because, you know, there might be something cool in there. Let's get the shotgun out. We haven't used it yet. Oh. Well, there's a way up. Yeah, people got torn up in here. Hopefully this is like a dead end because I do want to check out them stairs. Okay. Well, nothing there. Just a cool image. Notice to staff. Note for assembly line workers. Use extreme caution when operating the main platform of the elevator system. As predicted, the center block brick has now worn out completely. This means that if you load too much weight, the piston will overheat and the platform will collapse. I'm still trying to convince the fucking supervisor to look up from their goddamn computers for a minute to see what's going on in the real world. And maybe track down the spare part I requested two weeks ago. For now, keep load weights to a minimum. And if the piston starts overheating, try to cool it down somehow. We can do that. Follow this procedure and be careful. Medical insurance does, doesn't seem to apply down here. If there is an accident, you'll probably end up getting buried in a discreet ceremony in the middle of the fucking desert. Brad Fulmer. He knows what's going on. He's like, fuck these guys. All that money and they can't pay for my insurance. I don't see anything up there. Okay, I'm guessing we we need to hit this button to progress, so we're going to wait on that. 
because uh, we're probably going to get attacked by a whole bunch of these uh, reanimated corpses when we do that. And I want to make sure we've explored everything before we do that. Oh. The thing we're looking for is over here. Betcha you're on the other side. Okay. Let's go get that one. Once we have that one uh, destroyed, we're good for this whole like mission area. So then I'm going to be a lot more uh, aggressive with the campaign. So, watch me run. And uh, when we get towards the end of the game, I'll show you all the collectibles. It's kind of cool. They go in this like little UFO. And you get that cool soundtrack. Alrighty. So now with that, less worried. We can just run through here. Get attacked by all the bad guys in the world. Let's hit it. Oh, I'm guessing the... Okay, I'm surprised the brakes haven't, but look, it's all hot right there, so. Definitely gonna be a problem. Oh no. Oh, you know what we got? Super dark, we got problems. Oh, there he is. Oh. Good to know. So you want to keep an eye out for those frost or the electric orbs so we can get rid of them. Of course, you know more of them are going to start appearing. I'll say, is it me or is it starting to like get crackly in here? Who's making all that noise? There's a big bastard up there. Yeah, he must have killed all these soldiers. Maybe we get, we're going to get ourselves a little mini boss battle. Okay, let's get our scanner out. Oh, 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 I'm on it. That's right, I got you. Show me the goodies. Alrighty, laptop accessed. Project Hoax. For real. They couldn't have come up with a more appropriate codename if they've tried, given the work we're actually doing down here. If constructing the most advanced aircraft ever conceived isn't going to be called a hoax, then what is? And right in the middle of the Nevada desert, too. Well, under the Nevada desert, to be precise. So, commies, do you want to know where you can shove your spy planes now? Thanks to Ram 77, what was only a dream is finally becoming a reality. Aircraft constructed with a metal alloy so unique that it makes them practically invisible. No radar in existence can detect them. Our next stealth fighters could drop a bomb on the Kremlin in the blink of an eye, and the Russians would only know about it after they heard the explosion. I've been coordinating skunk works all my life, but Ram 77 has pushed the agenda forward by more than a century, following on from the F-117 and our recent work on the Remora, the tinfoil hat brigade keep saying we're working on UFOs at Area 51. Well, they may be onto something. That's right, we got alien tech out here. And there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there now. Talking about, like, you know, UFOs and all that, so, you know, it's mathematically impossible for there not to be life out there. Okay, I guess we're gonna come up here. I also bought a... Was it Starfield? I bought it, you know, a couple days ago. I got the fancy deluxe edition where we can play early. 
But uh, because of that con I went to, uh, that convention, I was unable to play it. So I'm downloading it while we're playing this game. And that game is big. It's going to take like 12 hours for me with my internet. I was like, oof. Please, no. Oh, look at this weird shit. What the hell is that? Is that a cola? That's a weird looking cola. It's been shot through the middle. Main control to LR rev. Okay, let's see here. What are we trying to do here? Power, pressure, joint. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I got you. I, I, you know, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I really don't, but we're gonna... Okay, so we need light, we need electricity here. Oh, I got you. Well, let's get this one over here. You can go there. Oh. What the? Okay, I gotta try to like figure this thing out. This thing's so weird. Okay, yeah, this should work. That one was a little wonky. Not gonna lie, I was like so confused. Okay, so we have them both here. One of them has to go. So it's gotta be like that. Ah, I messed up. Oh no. Are you there? Okay, hold on, hold on. We got him. We got him right here. Boom. <laughs> it took me forever, but I got it. Cargo repaired. Great, it worked. The platforms are all in place. Yeah. Let's get that a little cold, because I'm I'm worried it's gonna like fall down. There is no more collectibles that we gotta worry about, so we can get out of here. A little worried about what's gonna, you know, what we're gonna run into here. Because you know, we got all those sound effects, so we know something terrible is gonna happen here. Yep, we gotta recharge it, really. Damn. Freaking we dirt. missed it. Alright, don't be stingy. That that's the uh that's code word for don't be stingy in this game. With those frost uh, canisters. Use them if you got them. Alright, we're using shotgun now. I've been like saying we're gonna use the shotgun. I've never been using the shotgun. It's time. Well, shotgun not bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I, I had it. I chose like the correct enemy. Ah, you know what? Get the shotgun back out again. Because we're going to have to go in this room. Let's see if you're still immortal after I freeze you and rip you apart. Oh. Alright, freeze him. My goodness. Okay, so you gotta really freeze them. All right, I got you. You gotta completely freeze the red guys. We've learned it. Okay, we're all good here. Cool to know, though. 
Aw, oh, thank god these guys are still here. It would be real scary if you like walk down here and they're all missing. And you're just like, uh, where did they go? Alright, this is like wide open, so we're going back to the uh SMG. Oh, get him. Okay, okay. Oh, we freeze him. Let's see, get rid of him. Jesus, I can't believe this. We just teleported out of nowhere. This is getting worse and worse. Yeah, they don't mess around around here. They're like, you know what? Every time. Okay, yeah, that one's broken. How do we get... I guess we hit this button, and it'll all come down. Oh, one of them. Okay. I say, let me in. I gotta get out of here. I don't want these monsters to get me. I'm scared. They're vicious. All right, I need more ammo. That's the that's the big goal around here. You got ammo? No, he's dead. Let's look at him. Oof. They kind of like reuse the same like dead animated guy a couple of times. I think I've seen him at least twice or three times. So something, you know, they're trying to be a little sneaky, but it's not bad. It's nothing to like cry about. Oh, what the hell do we got here? Okay, I guess we're we're jumping down. Oh, a ladder. Going to the water plant. What could go wrong? All right, here we go. Reyes continues her search for Foster, using the frost grip to resist the relentless attacks of the foul creatures that lurk throughout the underground base. Who knew? The path ahead follows a trail of blood. Between the corpses of the base personnel and the dead Section 8 soldiers who had managed to make it this far into the bowels of the facility. Bowels, Wilden. What began? What began as a routine infiltration mission has become a desperate battle for survival. That does not sound good to me. I don't think that's rain. Rain indoors? I mean, that's some next level engineering. Well, I guess it is. But no, it, you know what it is. It's that electrical orbs that we've been fighting. There's so many of them that they're actually causing like a storm. How the hell did you get here? Yeah, what the hell is that? A plane? Oh, I guess it's this thing. Scan it. Get it. I can't believe it. All right, aircraft wing section. It looks like part of the wing of an airliner. The scan sample has a clean cut with a glowing surface. I haven't been able to identify what kind of technology would be capable of, capable of doing this. It also seems to have a res residual electromagnetic frequency almost identical to that emitted by those strange beings. The presence of the object at its current location is completely inexplicable. Maybe the higher levels will be able to shed more light on it. I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't it know what's like going on. Clean cut. How is that possible? Man, I would be sorry for the people that were on that airliner. Because, uh, you know they're dead. <laughs> like, they lost a wing. I don't think you can come back from that. Oh, let's see here. Hold on. Okay, so we have two fancy things here that we gotta look out for. It's kind of loud in here, so it's gonna be hard to hear the... 
the bobble head. Oh, we have a button. Seems like I need a key to operate the elevator. Ah, you always gotta have a key, don't you? I'll turn that flashlight on. Okay, no bobbly heads up here, right? Just chilling. Nope. We're a little bit out of luck. So you gotta keep an eye out. You don't know where they're gonna be hidden. I think we're gonna keep on moving. Well, we have to come back here anyways, so... We'll see how this mission's looking. Uh, that doesn't look good. Let's go this way. Ooh. Upgrades. At least that, I don't know what that is. Well, actually it's nothing. Emergency manual. Alrighty, the pages are splattered with blood. It looks like someone read it recently. One of the uh, reanimated was like, Ugh, let me read. Water supply plant. In the event that the security system is activated due to an ongoing emergency, the entire water supply facility will automatically be sealed off. The contaminant protocol entails the total stoppage of the RXD elevator in the main area. This will make it impossible to leave the facility or reach the lower levels without the emergency release key that is housed in the release key box. The closing off of certain internal areas to any operator not in possession of a maximum security level badge. Eternal staff and emergency services will retain access to the upper and lower levels of the facility via the emergency ladder located in the security rooms. If an emergency situation arises in your sector, contact your supervisor immediately so he can get the hell out of there while you die. A maintenance key card, I'll take that. Now let's see what this thing is. Oh, it's an upgrade station. It says it. A more powerful pressure mechanism allows for a longer spray range. The station will be disabled after the upgrade, okay. Improved cooling system increases the freeze effectiveness of the spray. Larger canister allows for a moderate increase in the tank capacity. Ooh. All right, which one do y'all think? Recharge or tank? I'm asking y'all even though y'all can't, you know, I gotta decide on my own. You know, let's go tank. Let's do it. We might regret it, I don't know. But you can't go wrong with more. If one freeze ball doesn't take him down, two will, you know? Alright, well, I'm assuming maintenance key card will work here. Oh, uh, hold on. Damn, I kind of wanted to examine it, but we know what it is. Maintenance key card. Used to open up all the doors that aren't, you know, locked due to security. So really interesting. Hey! Shit. Damn, that guy just snuck by. He's like, I'm a ninja. The guy had a briefcase. If it's our briefcase, that means he met Foster. I have to get to him. Alrighty, a loading area over there, meaning we go there last. Ooh, what you got over here? Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, this looks scary. Castle. Gas masks and everything, huh? You know, I'm kind of surprised she isn't wearing, like, a mask or anything. With these weird, you know, undead things running around, you would think that she might be worried of airborne diseases. But what do I know? You know, I don't know anything. Let's save here. Ah, eh, five's good enough. We'll, we'll, we'll go from the beginning again. That's right. We don't need you. Probably should. Well, you know what? We're going to make a, a, a short video here because 26 minutes isn't bad. 
So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the links below. Let me know what the audio sounds like. Good, bad, better, worse. Who knows? But let me know. And I will see y'all again in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.